What's up everyone? We are here in Montana. Is this still Great Falls? Yeah, this is still Great Falls. Still Great Falls. We're in the like outskirts of Great Falls, Montana. It's freaking peaceful out here. Let's check out the view. That's the river. It's the Missoula River. That's the, the Missouri River. Oh, Missouri River. Up. Okay, Renee, you want to share something? What is that? Share something about your NDT experience. About my NDT Tell them, um, yeah, how you got started, how you heard about NDT. I heard about NDT through YouTube. I was uh, let go from an aerospace company. And then um, I was looking into finding something similar to aerospace. And some guy from aerospace told me to get into the mechanic side for NDT. I didn't know what NDT was at all. So I started doing my research and started seeing what it was. But what it was is basically making sure things are safe around us as far as um, what it depends what you're talking about. You talk about airplanes, aircraft, making sure that you go up in the air safe and right. making up the wow. How long ago was this when you first heard about NDT? This was about, I'll say about a little over a year, close to two years, I should say, yeah. Close to two years. Two I years? Said, yeah. And I saw that video of you in John's house, yeah. interviewing John, yeah. and asked him a question about what it would take to change his life, yeah. what he was trying to do with it. Yep. And so, the reason I'm asking him this question is because he watched one of these videos that you are watching right now, and that's why he started uh, NDT at our school. And um, so, now this is your first job, right? SCC? My second job. I did second job. You did x-ray? three months. Yeah, so you did x-ray first for three months? Didn't really like it. You didn't like x-rays? And I offered this job and, and another x-ray job at the same time, but decided to take phased array and see. So now he's doing phased array um, with SCC inspections. And um, so you like UT more? Yeah, I like it way more. It's way yeah. safer and it's faster. Yeah. Everything about it is, it goes more into depth. The indications, yeah, yep, Way same better. here. I like, I love UT more. And we get so, to and see this, <laughs> right? You get to travel to places like these, live at houses like these. Oh my god, I wish I can show the whole house. I'll make another video okay. that shows them the whole house. Um, <coughs> what else? What, what, what advice would you give uh, to someone right now? What, uh, what, what are the things do you like about this industry? The industry, but I get to travel, see different, travel. see different areas. What about money? Um, is it a good money? Oh, the money is great. I don't. We don't always work our twelve hours. Yeah. But we get paid for twelve or ten, depending on the, the contract with the job. But um, right. It's not heavy work. It's not labor. It's not hard labor. It's real easy. You use yeah. your mind more than your physical, your physical body to get the job done. Great. And, and what? Okay. Let's talk about what you don't like about this job couple things you don't like about NDT so far? Um, what I don't like, one thing, it's not that I hate it, but it's, you're going to be away from home. Man. Right. Uh, so you like travel, but then it comes at the cost of staying away from your family. Yes, staying away from your family. Okay, what else? Um, what I'm going to say, uh, wow, it's not too much. What about the people, people in this industry? What do you think about the people in this Are you getting along well? Are you finding, like, did you have any? Yeah, you're gonna find tough people, people to work with. Yeah, you're gonna have people that. Um, I'm not saying they're not willing to show you. Maybe it's not in their. Yeah, and, and not willing they, to share what yeah, they know. It's not in them, or maybe they it's, just do it's their not work. Go home. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna find. Yeah, they, like I mean, you find everywhere else. But like everywhere else, they're everywhere. Yeah. But since this it's a one-on-one, -on -one, you get to see it more because you're actually working with this person side to side. Right. So you actually get to. It's not like you're in a warehouse by yourself. And yeah. You get to. You know, at the end of the week, they know what you did, how much work you did. You're with somebody else. So right. At the end of the day, you kind of feel it more. Like, oh, he doesn't. He doesn't have a time yeah. to show me. Or he doesn't show me why. And, but other than yeah, that, I, mean, I think it's really good to connect, like, be in good terms with people you're working have a good group of people because you're away from family yeah exactly. um yeah you don't want to spend time with weirdos yeah that's the only thing sometimes you get you have to um, especially if you want to save money you 
you rather bunk with somebody, bunk up with somebody in the room. Right. Share a hotel. Yeah, that's see, that's the good thing about traveling too, because you get paid per diem, and uh, you can you can save on your uh, and your main paycheck because then all your expenses go through your per diem. And if you're if you're smart enough, you can just use your per diem all the time, even for your when you're not on the work and all your money saved from your per diem, you can use those for your groceries and daily yeah, exactly. um, expenses and then you literally don't have to touch most of your paycheck other than taxes. You got the uh, over, a lot of overtime. I've a done, lot of overtime. I've done 94 hours. Yeah. That's the most I've done in the week is 94 hours. Did I actually work the 95, 94 hours? No. no. But but you can pay for 94 hours. Yeah. So one way to, uh, like one way companies are trying to uh, tackle the problem of staying away from families for too long is they put you on rotation, right? So yeah. you now you are working like what four weeks on, one the, week off. The minimum I do is four weeks, but I've, I've done four weeks. I've so you can six. work straight for four weeks, and then you get one week off to go back to your home. They fly you out to where you live, yeah. and then they fly you back out to the office, and then you work for another four weeks, and then you get another week off. So you can get that kind of schedule. Some other people have three weeks on, three weeks off. So you work straight for three weeks crazy and then you go back relax for another the next three weeks yeah so that's uh, another good schedule um, yeah. I look at it like this you don't like it's it is our week off but you get to plan a vacation if you would like because you have a week off if you would like right if you want to keep working you can choose that as well yeah Just keep working. So there's always work yeah so that's it